Hello everyone and welcome to Circle Empires. I'm gonna play on impossible difficulty, which is the highest level of difficulty in this game, on a medium-sized map. If I'm gonna win, if I'm not, I guess we will see. Here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna place a stockpile. Yeah, I'm gonna place a few workers. I think I'm gonna go with 12. 12 workers. Oh. 12, it's the right number to do what you wanna do. I am pretty alright with the location I'm on. Now, these guys are gonna be a threat for me. Alright, now let's make explosive mushroom. Alright, so we should never destroy those mushrooms. I'm gonna raise some resources to build a bank. The bank is gonna generate gold continuously. And I also want some towers. Or maybe not, guys. Let's have armies. Gonna get a lot of um, sword men. They have a lot of health. They don't necessarily deal much of damage, but uh, they're good. Dummy is helping my units train. Damage all hostile units. I think I'm gonna get some knights actually. The towers are a little bit too fragile. Actually I don't even know. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna build the fire tower. I think it deals splash damage. Gonna wait for the bank to generate more gold. The bank slowly gets um, experience, guys, and ultimately it's gonna upgrade to a big bank and so on. That's pretty cool. And I think a fire tower could be extremely useful for me. A thousand eight hundred, a thousand, a thousand five hundred. Yeah, I think I'm gonna place a tower here. Four more gold and we are there. Fire tower, guys. We got it. Nice. 20% more health. 
That's really good. Always keep some extra food, especially when you start attacking. Alright, the bank is upgraded. And I think I'm gonna make a combination of ice and uh, a combination of frost tower and uh, fire tower. Basically, the units are gonna be slowed down and. Uh, It's weird anyway. Or poison tower. <sighs> That's a lot of axe throwers. I think I'm gonna make some uh, knights from here. The bank is generating 6 gold, huge bank is going to generate 8, and maybe there is another phase. And finally guys, I got my first knight. All it takes is gold. I know if I make a move, the other ones are gonna make a move. And that's gonna be really bad for me. I don't wanna be attacked by anyone. So, I'm gonna have to... Okay, things are getting interesting. <clears throat> These monsters are quite powerful. These guys are not that powerful. These guys are powerful, and if they attack, I'm screwed. So I think I should focus my attention there.
Oh my god. There's a boss. Is that the boss? Whatever it is, it's bad. Bandits took over that one. That's bad. I think I'm gonna make a massive army of axe throwers. Once again, we won. I need a healer. But a healer is pretty expensive. Guys, I have such a great idea. I'm just gonna conquer circles. Just to get the three axe throwers. And that's how basically I increase my army. Let's get some workers down there. Here I get a lot of gold. I can make another fire tower. But I want. I'm gonna increase the damage of the arrows.
Okay, now this is getting difficult. Okay, basically I got some new extrovers. And basically I'm increasing the experience of my unit. Because as you can see they are leveling up. Okay, what else guys? I'm gonna increase the armor of my units. I can go here and claim this land. This is on impossible difficulty. Keep that in mind. Okay, that's a powerful circle. This one is powerful as well. Get the hell out of there. <sighs> More damage. 1500 food, 1200 gold. Slowly guys, we're doing this, I'm gonna increase the um, damage of my arrows.
And I got three more extroverts. So I said I want to improve the damage dealt by my archers. These guys are deadly. No more worries. Well, guys. I can say we're doing rather really good.
they are more and more of uh, upgraded, guys. The flying axe strategy. Four thousand food, four thousand gold. I think I'm gonna leave that one for the end because it's that powerful. These guys are powerful too, but. really powerful food to make some upgrades to my weapons. And yeah, this would be it guys. I'm gonna make some really good conquering. There we go. Whoa. The damage of my units is crazy. Plus three. Plus five. got lots of gold therefore we can make lots of knights mm, the healer has been upgraded okay guys there is one more circle to conquer and we basically did it on impossible difficulty, guys.
I might lose here. Oh no! I didn't lose. Run! Run! Oh, he's that! The Master Necromancer. That messed up with my plans. Go and focus him. Oh, There's actually two of them. So it was a very good idea to leave it to the end. Because this circle might have costed me the victory. And we're victorious, guys. We did it on impossible difficulty. Masterful strategist. As you can see guys, full conquest, difficulty impossible. It took me 35 minutes, 16 circles, 226 level gained, 50,000 wood produced, 52,000 food, 29,000 gold. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget that G2O is my official sponsor and if you're planning to buy anything from them, use the SHD code to get your percent cash back, the link is in the description. Take care now, bye bye.